Hello, everybody. Today in the house is Stanley Dietrich. He is an EGASQ posture specialist. He's a neuron coding specialist and a certified life coach at 360. Welcome, Stanley. Thanks for being Thank here. Thank you, Paula. Thank you. It's, it's, it's glad to be here. I'm glad to be here with you. I'm excited about your adventure and to be a part of it. That's, this, is a, this is a thrill for me. So thank you. Thank you for your time. I appreciate you. And please share with us what inspired you to become, you know, a coach in three different areas. You know, we have the Egascu posture uh, area. We also have neuro coding and also just, you know, a certified life coach. Yeah. Well, thank you. Um, that's a great question. You know, um, uh, the reason that, that I got drawn into the neuroencoding is because everything begins at the brain. And so there is a verse in the Bible that says that be renewed or you be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Now, this was written 2,000 years ago. So 2,000 years later, Joseph offers this program that helps us rewire and change the software going into the hardware. And so there are so many people that have been indoctrinated with a misunderstanding of who they are because of the program that they put in and how it aligns with my postural alignment uh, therapy is that the brain is telling the body what to do. And so the brain is the brainstem runs along the um, central nervous system down the spine and into the peripheral rest of part of the body. But if I think wrong, then I feel wrong. And so this was like just hand in hand, it's just stacking the goodness and bringing it all together. So that's really what inspired me to, once I heard this program was available, um, you know, bar the pun, but it was a no brainer for me because it was like, this is, this is just another affirmation um, that I'm in the right place at the right time for a right reason. That's awesome. That is awesome. Uh, I agree with you. You know, I agree with you that we have to learn to rewire ourselves. Uh, I was 35 whenever I, I discovered that I, I wasn't just born this way, you know, that I had the abilities to build myself, to add, you know, to gain new skills. So, yeah, and that's what uh, I'm pretty sure you're doing with your clients. You are teaching them that they don't have to be the way they are right now. You know, if they want to add new skills, they're, they're free <laughs> to do it. So yeah, that that's good. perfectly said. Perfectly said. Yeah. Uh, so how did you start creating change in people's life? Well, um, by listening. So I've learned the skill of listening. And it started when I was a kid. And I would just observe. And I really wasn't trying to change people, but I would listen from an outside perspective and, and I became this strategist. So I remember sitting on my porch um, at the age of 12 years old and my neighbor who had boyfriend problems, she would come over and sit on the porch with me and we would talk things and we would just, I you know, I wasn't her boyfriend, so I was just removed. And then I became known as the boyfriend strategist. And so I had more girlfriends than I had guy friends and they knew they could bring, and, and it just began that course through my life. And as I listen to people, I'm on the outside. And when you can remove yourself from being so heavily involved on the inside, then we can see things from a different view. It's kind of like our kids, you know, they're, they're asking us to pick them up all the time. And it's not that they're missing something, but they want to see from our view. And so they'll say, pick me up, pick me up, pick me up. And what they're saying is, I want to see life from your perspective. And this is what I do with my clients. And this is what I do with other people. And it's just helping them get out of being in the center of this chaos and looking at it from a different elevation and life looks different 
from a different view. That's why we like go to the top of the mountain. That is very like elegantly said, you know? Thank yes, you. I agree yeah. with you. And what is your outcome? What is, you know, what is kind of like the legacy that you want to live behind, you know, like every time you coach someone? The, the outcome is always about the client. It is never about me because um, my client to say, I am more than I thought that I was. I already have it in me. Okay, here's what an insight is. An insight is just the direction of what's already inside of you. And I just get the opportunity to extrapolate that, bring that forward to the front and center. And people go, I never saw it that way. But they, they did, but it was just covered. It was kind of like, a, it's kind of like a book. People are like a book. If we only read the first chapter, then we miss the plot. We miss, we miss all of the, the drama and the, and the heroic adventures. And we miss the, the, all of the elements that make the hero the hero. Because if you just read the first chapter and close it and you think that you got it, the hero that we thought in the first chapter might not be the hero. He might be the villain. And this is what happens to people is that when I'm doing it, my outcome is I want them to see themselves as the hero and never a victim. I'm only a guide and I get the opportunity to share. That is awesome. And I've seen that, you know, that is also your outcome whenever you lead our class, you know, yes. and that, that is beautiful that, uh, we get a lot of information that we need it. You know, like whenever you, uh, you said, it's not about me, it's about you right. guys. And because it is about us, any little thing that you share, uh, we absorb it and we learn from it. Yes. So that's, that's amazing. Uh, yeah. So what are some of the strategies and techniques that you use in your coaching practice? Well, one, one simple strategy that, that I do, no matter where I'm at, I can be at a grocery store. If I see somebody that is just totally frustrated and I feel prompted to do this, and I, and I have, it's just like I say, you know what? You're really frustrated right now with this moment. Why don't you just pause, put your hand on your chest and take a deep breath and hold it. And by doing that, they can't think about the past. They can't think about the future. And by placing their hand on their chest, they're getting in touch with who they are and taking that deep breath. They have to get in the right now. So they can't think about anything else because they're going, what is this crazy guy talking about? I'm going to go ahead and do it because I don't want to be embarrassed. You know, I don't want people to look, but maybe there's something to this. And so they'll do that and they'll go, you know, kind of half-heartedly and they'll go and they'll hold it for five seconds and then they'll release it and they'll go, oh my God, how did you do that? <laughs> and it's a simple thing. And, you know, um, some of the things I, some of the other things that I do is I tell people go out and walk barefoot in the ground on the grass for 20 minutes or sit and read a book with your feet, bare feet on the ground. The earth is full of um, neutrons and electrons. It absorbs from the sun. Where do you think that energy, where do you think our power comes from? That energy that's coming into the earth. They've just learned to utilize it in a way that we can go flip a switch on. Well, we have a switch. We're an electronic being. Go out and put your feet on the ground and watch what happens after 20 minutes, the energy difference that gets shifted from the source into your body. It's amazing. And those are just a couple of things that I do. And th there's a stop method, but I, I'm not going to give that secret away. You know, <laughs> but it, it is, you know, pattern interrupting, you know, pattern interrupting. You know, it's what our kids do to us. If we learn how to harness that power that they can interrupt our pattern, we mm. can actually use that power for our benefit that is that is true yeah that's amazing 
Uh, I love those techniques and I bet they're very, you know, I, I placed my hand on my chest and I, I automatically felt like I was calming down. So that's good. Uh, who can benefit from your coaching style? There's a multiple um, number of people. Now there, there are certain people that, that if they have addictions, I don't do a lot with addictions. I'll do um, personality addictions. Um, uh, but there are certain addictions that I, that I do not work with. Um, but anybody that is in business, I, I own several businesses. Um, I owned a construction company. I was a project manager. I dealt with owners of companies and, and multi-million dollar um, projects. And it's the, the ability to, to go, okay, you know what? A coachable person, I can coach. So if, if you're coachable, um, we have a, like an interview process where we sit down and go, you know, what are the things that you want to work on? And then I come up with, if, if I'm not the right fit, I can, I can guide them to somebody else. But um, I know that's kind of a broad no, answer. No, I like People it. Say, well, yeah, that's I just, like it. That's, I, 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 I'm honest. And I don't take everybody, um, but I don't know a whole lot of people other than the few that I mentioned that I, that I, I just don't, um, I don't, it's not my niche. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I like that, you know, like whoever's coachable, I'm willing to share my knowledge with you and I'll, yeah. you know, I'll, I'll show you what I know and strategies yeah. and techniques guide it to your outcome. So yes. I like that. Uh, where can people find you? Uh, they can go to 360lifewithoutlimits.com and they can read a little bit about my, you know, the paragraph. Um, and they can get an idea of who I am. But the best way is book a free, um, a complimentary, um, it's called virtual coffee. There's no charge to it. You know, um, book that it's a half an hour that we can get to know each other. And, and if nothing else, I promise you to add value. If you, if you sign up for that, um, I'll compliment the way your shirt looks on you. You will leave with a compliment <laughs> and you'll feel better, um, and go, you know what? I'd like to get to know more about this person. Awesome. So, That's awesome. Yeah. I never bring my grumpy self to, to any. <laughs> <laughs> we we don't know that side uh, you're always you know you're always adding value so that's, that's thank you thank you that is amazing I, I mean I want to honor you because you're always adding value uh I want to honor you because you lead you know a Saturday class my time is eight o'clock your time is probably seven o'clock in the morning nine yeah it's nine and yeah. uh anyway so you always add value uh, last Saturday, you share with us, or you reminding us that we were enough, and it clicked. You know, I've heard it before, but repetition is the mother of skill, yes. and it clicked that whenever I was preparing to do my review from a book, I had to share it because I owned it. You know, yes. so it came from you because it clicked, and then I passed it down. So you're always adding value. And I honor you for that. Uh, also, I know you have two children. And yes. the first time I met you, you were like uh, apologizing. You know, if I have to leave the meeting, <laughs> uh, you have to excuse me because my, you know, daughter is about to uh, have a baby. Yeah. So that was very like neat seeing you as you were excited. You were yeah. just could not wait. <laughs> To, yeah. to meet your, your grandbaby. So please share a little bit about your, your new grandbaby. Well, uh, my granddaughter is absolutely beautiful. And um, the, 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 my relationship with my kids has been the key of my life. And uh, I met my dad when I was 18 and I didn't have a dad. Um, and so I became the dad that I never had. 
And so when my daughter was born, she was an emergency birth. And so as soon as she came out of, like it was four minutes, he made first incision at 436 and at 440, she was out. He was on the table stretching because she had the cord wrapped around her neck. And then they placed her in my hands. And here's this, um, this baby, this creation that is unbelievable placed in my hands and um i had the luxury because i own my own business that the majority of that first three months of her life i was at home and i could do that and so i've been involved with my kids all throughout their life and so when my daughter got married I not only got to walk her down the aisle, but I also got to officiate the wedding. And it was an incredible experience. And so when, um, when my grandchild, my granddaughter was born, it was like all of heaven opened up again. And when I got to hold her, it was like, I went, I stepped back 25 years and here it was again. And she looks just like my daughter and just that energy coming forward. I just can't get enough of her. So um, all those memories came back. Yes. That's yes. That's sweet. Yes. That's very sweet. Yeah. Uh, well, before you go, please share with us what has been one of the books that has truly added value to your life and, and how. If I were to say one, um, there's multiple. I'm a reader. So um, uh, never split the difference by Chris Voss. It's about negotiation and life is a negotiation. Um, you know, Dr. Amen's books, your brain is always listening. Uh, I've listened to multiple audio books. I'm, I'm a, just a, a junkie for learning and applying and allowing that to just infuse my life. And I don't look, I don't go to a book to look for an answer on the outside. I look for it to extrapolate something that's inside of me and to awaken that giant within that, you know, and, and unleash that power within as Tony tells us. Um, that's, that's my focus. Um, and I just want to be you know, an inspiration to other people and, and, and lead them to the places that I've been privileged to go to. So that in a nutshell, I mean, I could list down 95 books, you know, some of the, my favorite books are, um, uh, Marie for Leo's book, um, everything is figure outable. And I love, uh, Jensen Sarah's books, um, the badass series books. I haven't read those. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay. You're a badass at making money you know, quit limiting yourself. Um, so I, I love those books that make me laugh and then kick me in the pants and go, Hey, you can do this. Quit making excuses. Just do it. Just do it. You know? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Thank you. Thank you so much for your knowledge. Thank you so much for adding value today and, you know, having the time to sit down and just share this conversation with, with me and, and I appreciate you, you know, every time I see you, you're always adding value. Uh, you are an example. Uh, I, you know, from my point of view, you know, you're always in the, in our meetings, you're always on time. You, one of the last ones to leave. If there is something to share, you're always there. And I truly appreciate you being in my life. Well, thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. Um, and you're, you're a gift. Okay. Oh, thank you. And, you know, what you're bringing, the awareness that you're bringing, I'm, I consider myself fortunate to have been on the front line of this, because as I watch you soar, um, I just applaud you and I celebrate what you're doing and the gift that you're expressing is going to change lives. You're going to be that inspiration that you've always been now to the masses. So just congratulations to you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for your words. And we will see you soon. Thank you, everybody. Have a great day. Bye. You too.